So in this video I'm going to briefly look at how you add a badge into a course. So now the very first thing is, especially if we're going to be using completion, we have to turn on completion in the actual course itself. So to do that I'm going to go into the settings. I'm going to go down and have a look at the completion tracking and make sure I turn that on and save the changes. So now once that is done, I'm going to be able to go in and edit this and add assign that completion tracking element to it. So here's the activity completion. We're going to allow it that it's complete when the user makes a choice. So now I've got an activity in a course where when a student does something that activity is marked as complete. So let's see what the badges part now. So over here I have badges. I'm going to click on Manage Badges and this is in the Course Administration area. There are no badges yet, so I'm going to add a badge. And we're just going to call this Mech Guru. And we're going to give it a description. And I'm going to drag over an image there that's suitable for it. Here we go. It already has the site name and I'm not going to put an expiry on it, no need for this demo, but you can if you want to. So, once that's done, I'm going to go in here and I'm going to select a criteria, and in this case, we're going to choose the choice completion. So, we're going to say that if they make a choice, that it will be complete, and that we only have one up here. So, any of it is fine. So, the activity completion is when that is completed. So at this stage I can now enable access. So anyone who's already completed that choice will now get awarded it, if that was the case. And I can go back here and I can see that... I'm going to manage. It's now active, available to users, but no one has completed it yet. 